Okay, in the previous video, we have created Road Manager that allows us to place structures on our map when we click our mouse. And we can see that we can click only up to 14.14 .14 position. And that's great. So we can place our road everywhere, but it isn't rotated when we place it. So it looks a bit, a bit strange. Now, let's stop the game. And we are going to tackle the issue when we want to, uh, the road to change the prefab depending on its neighbors. First of all, we will need to create a new class called structure model that will allow us to simply call method change prefab to and it will change the prefab at the rotation of the already placed object. So let's go to our scripts folder. Let's create new C sharp script. Let's call it structure model. Okay, let's open it up. Again, let's delete everything that Unity has pre-created for us. It will be a mono behavior, and we are going to simply add this component onto our game object. We will need to have float y height. Since this will be a parent of the game object, and we will need to know at which height our prefab is set, so it looks just the same as the prefab already placed where we have placed it. So we need to store the y height of the prefab that we will want to place here. Let's call public void create model. Since this class will be responsible for instantiating the model, and we are going to pass here game object model. Okay. And inside this method, we are going to call var model equals instantiate we're going to instantiate this model that was passed to this method and we are going to set transform so this object transform as the parent for this new model okay let's call it structure because we have collision of names great and we are going to simply save y height equals our model dot transform dot position dot y great and we are going to create another method public void swap model and we are going to pass again game object model so the new model that we want to swap with our current model and quaternion dot rotation or rather rotation since when we are placing model we will need to rotate it a bit depending on what are its neighbors. Okay, we will get to it in more depth in the future video. For now, let's call for each because we might have more models than one in this uh, structural model. We do not know because this will be a parent to which we are going to attach a new structure. And I have made a mistake in the create model. We want to get the Y of the structure, not a model. Great. Now, in this for each loop, we are going to loop for transform. Let's call it child in transform. So this is the transform of, of this structure model game object. So we are going to simply destroy all the children of this transform. To make sure that we have destroyed the previously created model. Now, what we are going to call is var structure equals instantiate and we are going to instantiate the new model and we are going to pass to it transform so this transform as the parent next we are going to call road uh, sorry stru structure dot transform dot local position and we want to set it to be new vector 3 0 y height and zero to make sure that it is at the same height that was the old object and structure dot transform dot local rotation to the rotation passed to this method since we want to make sure that the prefab is rotated so the new game object is correctly rotated and that's it for the swap model class and now we will need to go to our placement manager and instead of our game object we are going to save the structure model to make sure that we can adjust its uh, prefab. So let's open up the placement manager script. And now 
what we will need to do is to create private dictionary dictionary and we are going to set the key as vector 3 int so the position of our structure and our structure model as the value so we if we want to modify the structure on this position we are going to get the value at this position from our dictionary and this will be temporary road objects since we are going to mainly modify the road objects temporary road objects equals new dictionary great now let's slide down to the place temporary structure and instead of this game object new structure instantiate we are going to substitute it with structure model equals a structure equals create a new structure model so this will be our new method we are going to pass to it the position the road straight actually we can change it to structure prefab and let's pass to it structure prefab to the new method and at the end we are going to pass the type of the cell that we want to create okay alt enter on this method and generate it in our placement manager now here we are going to write the same statement as we had before so game object structure equals new game object and we are going to create a new game object of type uh, with the name self uh, sorry type dot to string so it will have a it will be a new object instead of instantiating we are going to simply create it in this fashion next we are going to call structure dot transform dot set parent and we are going to create this structure in this transform so the transform of our placement manager so we do not clutter our hierarchy next structure dot transform dot local position and we are going to set its position to the position that we received from our road manager and la and last we are going to call var structure model we are going to call it uh, to call our structure add component and of type structure model okay and we are going to at the end call structure model dot create model and we are going to pass our structure prefab so we are not creating a new instance of the structure prefab here instead we are going to call the structure model so the structure model class to do it for us and what we are going to do is we are going to simply return it so return structure model and this way we can now get the structure in our place temporary structures and add to our temporary road objects add the position and the structure which is our structure model class instance now i know it might look a little bit convoluted but this will allow us to access the structure at this concrete position and change its prefab depending on what we have placed so what we need to uh, place in this space so we will be able to find the structure in our dictionary in call swap uh, prefab i think or swap model and swap uh, the straight road to the corner okay great so imp let's implement last method let's call it public void modify structure model and we are going to pass a vector 3 int position game object new model and quaternion rotation and here we are going to simply call if our temporary road objects contains key position we will simply call our temporary road objects find the value with this key position 
and we call swap model and pass to it our new model and the rotation that we desire. And this, this method will be responsible for calling our structure model dot swap model. Great. Now we have no logic to call this method yet. In the next video, we will implement a way, a, a new class called the road fixer to fix our road prefabs depending on the neighbor of the road. So see you in the next video.